Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Today, we're going to be talking about something that has become very important because I've gotten more testimonials and calls and everything on this saying thank you for talking about weight. Uh, as you know, uh, by trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant, especially working on panic and anxieties, emotional eating, and also confidence. Because if you don't have the confidence within you, there is no way that you feel good about anything that you do. So when I work with all my clients, I make sure that I also work in boosting their confidence. We all have confidence because it's something that we project. Um, and weight is some of the things that um, so many of us want to hide or we want to make it absolutely amazing so we walk and show up with a lot of confidence because we like our body image and we like ourselves so today I'm going to be talking about something that has become very prevalent in our world and that is obesity by the way did you know that um, obesity is one of the biggest things because worldwide over 2.8 million people die each year due to obesity I could not believe it 2.8 million die because of obesity and being overweight on Netflix I was watching a show and it's about anorexia so and it's the, almost the same mental um, aptitude and control issue obsession either about eating or not eating and when someone counts calories on how much a juice is how much water intake or how much a piece of small little bite of uh, even a fruit one grape will have and in here it is showing this one girl's journey about uh, anorexia and how many times she's been in and out of rehab and I also watched another one about food and how food becomes the nurture the comfort for those who go into obesity and overweight you see the work that I do as a clinical hypnotherapy is tapping into the subconscious mind because there is always an emotional connection to either feeling good about our body and or wanting to dis and we dislike the body dislike the image dislike a little bit of uh, fat in here or as we grow older it becomes loose and how we must build the muscles bottom line is if we think about it why is it that we overeat or not want to eat so the result of obesity we're going to be talking about obesity because the emotional eating that we do how it is connected to gaining weight and then when someone gains the weight they feel bad about themselves and the cycle of feeling bad is coming to resentment when resentment comes to self-punishment and when it comes to self-punishment it's like feeling hopeless like I can never do this I don't know if you resonate with this or not and I had a client size six think, thinking that she is overweight and I've had a client at 280 pounds that she resents herself for all the weight and of course as we have been working together tapping into the subconscious 
and working through hypnosis is peeling layer and layer of all the guilt and the shame she has been hoarding, hoarding into her body. So it's not only how we hoard the things in our home, but hoarding inside. It's like constantly stuffing it and it's not enough. So I want to share a few things. Uh, overweight, the result of that can be high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high heart disease, and of course, which leads to stroke. Now, I don't want to alarm anyone, but that's what obesity is. When we are, if like one of my clients, when she's 5'4 and she weighs over 250, there is something that is off. And she's done all kinds of yo-yo. She's done Weight Watchers. She's done Lindora. She's done Fan Fan. She's done it all. And then gained it all back. So when, if you or someone you know has done this yo-yo and feel resentful and as hope, hopeless, I want you to know when you get to this overwhelm, there is that underlying reason why you keep eating. And even in my book, one of the things that I say is, there's two parts to us. One is the thinking part and the other part is the observing part. But before I go and talk about the thinking, the observing and how I bring them together in my, uh, in my course of stand up to slim down is give you another thing. Type two diabetes is another leading cause of obesity. If you have type two diabetes or are on the borderline, uh, you need to be watchful. Asthma can also be created because of weight. Definitely, over, when you are overweight, you cannot sleep very well. And the changes that happen in your lung function, hopefully you're not overweight and smoking, right? So the liver disease I know so many people say liver and kidney from alcohol and is affected very much because of alcohol intake, but also weight, those who are overweight um, also have uh, discomfort. They cannot sleep very well. And having joint arthritis. One of my clients needs to have a knee surgery, but she needs to drop over 40 pounds in order for the doctor to do the surgery. So do you see how one thing leads to another and it's affecting another, it's affecting your knees, it's affecting your legs, it's affecting your organs, plus not feeling good about yourself, right? So, um, you can have um, endometrial, uh, you can have colon disease, it can lead to digestive problems like gallstone problems, gallbladder disease, and of course we're not talking about uh, depression and other symptoms. So those are the symptoms that obesity creates again you can also fall and fall in itself is another part that is hard on the body so what can we do what can we do is to realize the part of you that's the thinking part is analyzing judging criticizing yourself and your observing part is observing what is it that you're tasting? What is it that you're touching? What is it that you are feeling? So what we do is bring those two together so that there is no judgment, but recognizing what, when you eat, why you eat, and what is it for. So because 
when you get to that point of sadness and feeling disappointed that things are not working, I want you to know that there is a solution. And the solution is you. Is Hi, Giselle John. Thank you. Thank you. I love you too. And either eating or not eating. Um, it's saying no to yourself. It's hurting yourself. It's hurting your body. So the first thing we do, the word is kindness. Becoming kinder to yourself. And instead of eating so much or eating... When you start eating, recognizing that you can eat a whole pint of ice cream and feel as if the whole, that whole is still not satisfied. We come to understanding the satisfaction comes from you. What is it that you want in life? And if things that you didn't get, what is it that you can do for yourself today? Peeling layers of emotions to understanding what is it that you need to fill or feed that has not been fed. Again, it's an all mental desire. It's not the hunger is not what you eat, but what's been eating at you. And that's what we work. So first and foremost, some of my clients are amazed that they stop smoking on the second session, that the urges are not there. And the same thing can happen with food because food is just a Band-Aid. Believe me, it's just a Band-Aid. It's a good Band-Aid, but it is not the Band-Aid. So in my book, one of the things that I talk about is literally not only the statistics, you start writing like a chart when you dropped weight. Yes, drop weight, not losing because loss is such a bad feeling, right? I've talked about this so many times and it sometimes it sinks in and sometimes it doesn't. So uh, what is journaling? It's not journaling about the things, who you talk to, where you went, who called, who didn't, what you did all day. A part of it is. But journaling and keeping a record of being the change is becoming aware of what is the change that you want. It's called realistic. From 240, you're not going to come and be 140 in nine weeks or in three months but how we do is gradually we come to recognize where you were what are the patterns when you get upset what do you do when you are sad what do you do when you are angry what do you do when you are happy what do you do because those are the observing parts of you recognizing that your emotions and certain patterns in your life, or maybe the people you are with, if you are with destructive, and if you're in a destructive environment, what happens? If you go uh, on vacation, what happens? When you surround yourself with a whole different people, what happens? So every aspect of your life not only physically, mentally, emotionally, but at work, how you respond. I know at work, I have, it's still me, but the way I respond for the things that are not happening is not the same as when I respond um, when I'm outside. So even having the sensation of comfort and calm it comes from within yourself knowing all is good but am i safe in my body because the anorexia when someone is having anorexic tendencies they count every single calorie so it's like that's why they are 
it's unfortunate bone and they still think not good enough I'm not beautiful enough right so and the overweight feeling the same I'm not good enough underneath even though it may be projecting outside but inside and it's not so much the confidence it's the self-esteem believing in yourself knowing that you deserve to look good to feel good and have a healthier body image and a body if food is the culprit we work on that if someone hurt you a long time ago and without realizing now you are hurting yourself we peel away those two bottom line if you are not dealing with the trauma the pain and the hurt then this yo-yo cycle keeps coming over and over and over you will pack it on you will add it on thinking this is going to keep me safe thinking this will protect me all the while you are resenting yourself I want to read a testimonial a testimonial that I received just a few days ago and I'm going to place this testimonial uh, on my website so you get to see this sorry I'm uh, going through so that I can here it is dear Lisa you have simply been a blessing this is a testimonial literally that came and thanks to your expertise kindness and talent I now know that what used to be a weight problem is for is over forever had I known that hypnosis was the key to finally stop the yo-yo dieting I would have done it many years ago and saved so much frustration time and etc everyone if you were wondering if this could be your solution don't hesitate for a second to do it with Lisa we all know there is a certain amount of shame associated with the feeling that we can't control our weight our eating habits our emotions Lisa will make you feel at ease and understood from the first second we met she is caring and dedicated she celebrates your successes that's what I do I celebrate every success and as much as you do she is simply terrific and thanks to her I finally feel free from twisted relationships with food and so happy with myself this is a testimonial sent from her iPhone that I got just yesterday so I do walk the walk with you and when I say stand up to slim down literally that's the work we are doing because after years of therapy understanding the psychological connection to food to um, body image because I used to be the same believe me I would get on the scale every single day and if that thing went over 120 I would be miserable miserable so with my body mass and everything uh, exercising plus checking your hormones checking and making sure that your hormones are in place everything is intact because sometimes your hormones especially women at my age when we go into this point of menopausal or premenopausal that affects hot flashes affect so there is so much about us as women of course everything has to happen to us as women when it affects us we tend to take it much harder so today's message is 
not only there is hope, there is more than hope. There is solutions. So let us stop the yo-yo, waiting and losing, and stand up for who we are. Isn't it time for you to show up lovingly, kindly, and be happy with yourself? I believe the answer is yes, especially with the summer coming. So if you like this message, by all means, share it, like it, and yes, do subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, Lisa Bugari, and I look forward to bringing more messages of health and wellness, and next week I'm going to be interviewing someone that it will be absolutely wonderful. So until I see you next week, God bless you, and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click